What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I know I didn't upload this past Wednesday or Sunday. We did do a Friday upload, which is doing actually really good. It was more of an interview with Trainer Jays than just a regular video. Um, I want to get into that where I'm doing a little bit more of stuff like that. Like I said, I really want to do videos over the community, people playing, you know, going to league, stuff like that. Maybe going to regionals if I ever have time to make it out to one of those. I hopefully, hopefully will. Um, but you know, stuff like that, like the Collecticon, just stuff that revolves around Pokemon TCG in general, um, and not just opening packs all the time and stuff like that. I mean, it's it makes for a great filler, especially whenever you can't get out. You know, got you gotta have something. But like I said, I really want to focus on that aspect of it. But with that said. Today we are opening Pokemon cards, so that's what we're doing. Um, I did make it out to Trainer Jays this past, well, yesterday for both of us, because um, I'm recording it and uploading today. I do have the rest of that uh, Lost Origins booster box as well. I just felt like I needed a little bit of break from doing that one, um, mostly because I just want to sit here and open some Evolving Skies. That's what we're opening, by the way. We're doing some Evolving Skies, but we will upload the other two parts. Three and four, part three and part four from uh, the booster box, and maybe get another one and open it up again. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see what we do with that down the line. Moving on from that, I know I've talked a lot. Today we are opening a Evolving Skies booster box because I do want to open some Evolving Skies. So we do have a box here. I've had this one for a little bit. I've been sitting on it. It was one of those things where I was like, I'm gonna put it in my collection boxes, but. Uh, I don't really have a whole collection of ETVs, I just have some that I like and I have refrained from opening. I do plan on opening them eventually, but today we will be doing this one. But it's just your standard Evolving Skies box. It is from the reprint wave, so it's not like I've had it too, too crazy long. I've already damaged it, look at that. Such a bad person. But there's some stuff for y'all. There we go. But as always, I mean, it's, it's a pretty straightforward ETB. There's your ETB, you know, your thing, your binder or booklet. And then you have your ETB. The ETBs are quite nice, I will say that. This one's definitely nicer than the other one. The other ones are a little bit more on the orange with the green. And I haven't run into one of those. I'm just knocking everything around. But there's that. I didn't do a whole lot of evolving skies whenever it was initially came out because it was around the same time that uh was it um what was it called uh i'm completely thinking uh celebrations was out and i was going really heavy uh, i don't know i'm still showing you energy cards but it was around that time so i was really into celebrations at the time still am but they actually have a, a reprint or i don't know if it was a reprint necessarily or if like you know, the company started to release a little bit more, but they had holding back. But we got eight packs, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And another reason that I haven't opened Evolving Skies as much is just because it's a really hard set to get pulls from. I'm talking about, I've opened several packs. Um, I think I did one video. I don't, know, I don't know if I ever did upload it. I think I did, but I'm not too positive. But I think I opened like 12 or 13 packs and um, just got one, one black coat and the rest of them were white coats or vice versa. Anyways, it was one good one, the rest were bad, and my feelings were hurt. So I didn't want to do any more of these. Talking about white coats, here we are, right off that bat. And there's no trainer gallery here, so it makes it really, really, really hard, um, at least that I can remember of, to, to get hits. But pretty much what we're looking for is, you know, those alternate art EVs. They are pretty much all in here, outside of, you know, the Flareon, Leafeon, not Leafeon, but Flareon. Uh, those guys right there, you know what I mean. Got a C dot right there, a Swablu, got a Reverse Hollow Ursa Ring, and a Talon Flame Regular Rare. That's what I am talking about, guys. Let's see how we do on this one. I'm gonna set these off for do for now. But, even though it's, it's a hard set, I mean, it does have some really good art cards in it. So like when you hit, you really hit, if that makes any sense. But 
Yeah, I, I've been sitting on it for a little bit, and it, I've been wanting to open some Evolving Skies, so I was like, it is time. We'll pull it out and just crack it and see how it goes. I know. There we go. Reverse Hollow Pyroar and a regular rare Wishy Washy. But I know it's it's a very hard set. But, but yeah, another white code. But yeah, guys, I've been pretty pretty busy just in general this this past month. Oh, sorry. There we go. Um, just with like lack things. So I feel like I haven't actually been on here or talked to anybody or at least to you know y'all in in quite a while. But. Hopefully we'll get back on track here and we'll be doing our weekly weekly Sable Eyes. Every time I see the Sable Eyes now, I think of the one from Lost Origins. Is it Lost Origins? Yes, because it's very playable. So I was about to be like, yes! I actually have my playset as well, so that's pretty cool. I have some comfies too. Quick uh, detour, but yeah, I got four of these that got hooked up by Trainer, Trainer Jays. So that completes my set of comfies without your stamp anyways. We got a Keylify, a Reverse Crustal going into a Pinsir Regular Rare. So that's our third Regular Rare. Man, I'm talking about the best thing we might get out of this is just a Reverse Hollow Tier. But, but yeah. Now overall this set's pretty good. It's, it's a good set if you hit a, a good card, I guess. See, not a good card, but just an alternate art. Let's see, we got four from the back. But yeah, it, it really does take you back to like a little bit before the, well, pretty much before the train galleries when it was, you know, it was like you're either going to hit or you're just going to bust and not do good. But we got Cryognal, remember these when they came out because it, it was playing Kyogre decks. Cutie Fly Reverse Hollow and a Alteria Regular Rare going into our regular rare pile. And that's, that's pretty much halfway through it, guys. But I guess I do make, need to make some announcements. Um, I, I was planning on doing a separate video. We'll probably just hold off and do a separate video uh, for it. Um, it's mostly over. Like I, I skipped September's giveaway. I, I was like I said, I was just really busy that month and didn't really have time to do anything crazy. We got a black coat at least. Maybe we'll get a hollower. Let me slow down on those. But and then we're actually creeping to 200, which is crazy. I. Like my goal for my first year of uploading to YouTube was to hit a solid hundred. And whenever I first started, and I was getting like a follow here and a follow or subscriber here and there, I was like, "This is gonna take forever. I'm never gonna hit a hundred by the end of the year." And here we are at almost 200. I think we're like at 181. So that's pretty cool. We got a reverse hollow Ampros right here going into a. Here um, a hollow rare. It's better than a regular rare. So we will take it. This is so far our best hit. We will set him right here. Sorry, sorry Mew. We're gonna set him right here though. So there we go. Maybe the back half of this will be a little bit better. Let's see. No promises though, no promises. Especially with this uh, Another black coat, okay. Doing pretty good there. But I do have a couple of giveaways planned out. Um I guess maybe Maybe, maybe at the end of this video, if not the next video, I'll definitely post uh, post what we're doing for this month because we are doing a giveaway this month. We got a Hippodon, a Gold Duck, or yeah, Gold Duck, Cryognal, a Zaru, Swablu, a Hip Hop, a Wobbuffet. We got a Regorola, no, Regor, Regorola. I'm going with Regorola today. Reverse Hollow, pretty nice, and our rare is a Drat Skull. B. So, at least it, it's not a hollow rare. It's better than a hollow rare for sure. We're moving up. Not quite a very good playable card, but it's a V, I guess. We'll take it. Let's stick them right there. We're just going to place them out here. But second to last pack, guys. Let's see if we can't hit something good. White code, so probably not. Maybe we get an error pack. But yeah, it's it's been... It's been it's been fun though. I'm ready for the next trade night. Those are always super fun. I, that's pretty much like the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to every month at this point. We do have some local ones, you know, that are happen closer to me, but the the common ones, the the bigger ones. So 
I enjoyed that one. The, the best, anyways. Got a Toy Catcher Reverse Hollow going into a Stoutland Regular Rare. Putting him up. And then we're down for our last one, guys. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. It was funny the other day, I actually. So we're not getting anything out of this one either, but the, I was gonna say the other day, I was sitting here. Uh, and. I had, well, I was about to go to bed, but there was a few Sun and Moon Arrow packs that I just had sitting around. Or, no, Sword and Shield Base, sorry, I think. It's been a little bit. But, uh, there was like four of them, and I was like, ah, I had the itch to open them, and I just cracked them, and I hit some, uh, some full arts, and I was like, really? Off camera. That's my luck, though. That's, that's how I go sometimes, though. We got a Shark Pedo, regular rare, and our flushing was a hollow rare right there. So, that's pretty much all of it so this is what we're looking like and and this is why I don't like buying evolving skies because the hits are really hard like it's it's one of those where like you might go through a lot of packs and hit a V I mean granted this is not a big wasn't a lot of packs just an ETV but you know like most people when they open an ETV or not most people but for most sets you know normally you're gonna get at least if you're lucky a full art or something, not a full art, sorry, like, uh, just, a, yeah, I guess a full art, technically. Um, or something along those lights, li lights, sorry, um, something along those lines, uh, but with it being Evolving Skies, it is a little bit of a harder set, in my personal opinion, um, I know a lot of people that have opened it and do open it say it's harder. Alex can attest to that because he went through a ton of product and almost completed the set. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Like I said, I'll either, at the end of this video, if not the next video, we'll have a update for the September giveaways or uh, October, but one month is it was September, October, yeah, October giveaways, and we'll, we'll do all that stuff, but we'll see you later. Take care, and like, comment, and subscribe.